Hey, I'm Adam with Wings and Wheels, and today we are going to be going over LXNAV's Hawk Winds options. Now, this is an optional license that is going to add a bunch of cool features to your flight computer that you're going to find useful in flight. Now, to summarize what Hawk is, it enables instantaneous wind readings on all three axes. To start, your Varia will have two different needles instead of one. The red is the total energy reading, and the blue is the Hawk measurement. Using the Hawk Vario in climb mode will calculate your potential climb rate. The best way to illustrate this is to imagine both of the needles, but the total energy is significantly lower than the Hawk. This could be due to flying sloppy in the thermal, making your actual climb rate lower than what it could potentially be, as shown by the blue needle. The Hawk needle gives you the best theoretical climb rate at that moment. In cruise mode, the total energy reading is going to be the same, but the Hawk is going to act a little bit different. Instead of outputting your potential climb rate, the blue needle is going to output a netto reading or what LXNAV likes to call a relative reading, which is going to show you the potential climb rate of thermals as you are cruising by. The best part about Hawk is that the algorithm will factor out horizontal gusts, which would normally mess up your total energy reading, always giving you an accurate output. You can see this in cruise mode when the red needle shoots up, telling you you're in lift while Hawk says it's a fake thermal. Hawk also shows you a wind indication screen that shows you two wind readings. The real-time wind direction can be seen on the blue arrow, while the wind average can be seen on the white arrow. The last feature to come with Hawk can also be bought separately, this being AHRS. The Attitude Heading Reference System provides attitude information for your glider in the form of an artificial horizon. So before we go over the installation, let's go over the compatibility that Hawk has with the LXNAV products. To start, Hawk will run on any S10 or S100 variometer, and also comes pre-installed on LXNAV's newest Vario, the SX Hawk. It will run on any fourth generation LX8000 or LX9000 flight computer with a V8 or V80 Vario. Unfortunately, it will not run on anything older. When you purchase Hawk, you will receive an email with the download link to the software and an activation code linked to your flight computer serial number. Download the software onto the SD card provided with your flight computer, and from there, you are ready to install Hawk. If you are interested in Hawk and would like to try it out before purchasing it, LXNAV offers a free 30-day demo. You can access this demo by going to our website and clicking the link under the Free Demo tab. This will take you to LXNAV's website where you can fill out this form and have the demo emailed to you within a few minutes. Now, let's go and install Hawk on the LX9000. To start, insert the SD card with the downloaded Hawk software and turn on your flight computer. Once your flight computer is booted up, navigate to the passwords page as shown. Once there, enter the password 89891 to access the download file. Select the download file and enter the activation code emailed to you with the download link. From there, your flight computer will restart and Hawk will officially be installed onto your flight computer. Once the reboot is finished, navigate to the About page as shown, and you will see here that Hawk is now installed on your system. All right, well, that is going to be it for this video. If you are interested in Hawk or any of the other LXNAV products, I've linked our website in the description below where you can learn more. Now, if you have any questions about the installation process, feel free to give us a call. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.